Hello and welcome back to me getting destroyed, aka legendary Iron Man exquisite timing. Um, the second attempt, my name is Saiken. Today it's time for Operation Half Eaten Death, which is pretty much uh, the name that I would have given uh, this or uh, this operation if I had the free choice to do so. We're going in with a sort of B team into a pretty pretty hard mission. We're at the beginning of June. I figured out that uh, we might even pull it off uh, from a research perspective. I definitely, definitely, definitely cannot stress enough how difficult the whole research topic on legendary uh, difficulty is. Essentially, the exquisite timing uh, normally forces you to squeeze all of the research into four and a half months. Now it, squeeze, uh, it forces you to um, basically squeeze in twice as much research. So with a few tricks uh, and some creative uh, ways of dealing with it we made it uh, thus far problem here is now we gotta win the operation half eaten death um, and uh, that's 16 enemies mostly advent advent now has uh, armor on top of it there's going to be a chosen um, or the sectopod we don't know yet and we know that there's going to be a sectopod but enemy unknown could be either uh, we got Mutant, Sectoids, Advent um, Max, and Advent Stun Lancers. Unfortunately, we don't have blue screen rounds. We literally do not have a lot, and that's the biggest problem. Um, the team that I put together will contain um, Mike the Public Bravo. Um, he is essentially tired but and will take damage from this, but I can't change it. We need grenades and we need cover removal. We got bones leading uh, the charge. We got uh, two um, of our fine specialists. We got Zirkim there and Divat. Uh, basically everyone that we could uh, master difficulty difficult is pretty accurate. And uh, this is going to decide whether or not the run is going to be successful. So without further ado, let's jump into the mission guns. Here we go. All right, we landed. It just says investigate the forge, and it looks so harmless, but it's quite the opposite. Investigate the forge means we're going to deal with 16 enemies. We're going to deal with a lot of problems. Let's just double check where the letters are. So that's one letter. Uh, which we're just going to block. Blocking the letters with the Reaper is something that is necessary just so no of, and none of the other packs is just running into us. Um, Divert is going to take a position. You know what? Just up there. Mike the Public Bravo. Tiny, tiny bit further behind. And let us take Ten four. the tight formation all the way up to the ledge. We got a couple of remote startable objects. The idea here is don't lose concealment and try to kill as many enemies with remote start as possible. I'm trying to quote unquote cheese my way through that. We got a mimic beacon. I am willing to use that against the sectopod uh, because I don't know how else we're going to deal with the sectopod. We most certainly need to save Moving. most of our explosives uh, just to deal with the sectopod six or um, six or so armor. I found their patrol. And luckily for us, we got a reaper. Can't stress it enough, this class is absolutely fantastic. It's just that good. An alien patrol. Got a deal with oh that looked uh, that looked as if we almost could remote start them. So we got a remote start here, a massive one here. Wow, holy bonkers. Okay, yeah, yeah, I like it. 
how about just out of curiosity is that destroying the tower as well yeah it is it, it's very much destroying the tower so mm. Moving in, taking the high ground, mostly because the patrols tend to not wander towards the high ground. This here might be remote startable. Usually the crates can be exploded. Not sure. They usually speaking, they can. It's kind of on the edge. Those... Um, Heavy lifting machines definitely can be exploded, and yeah, the truck here can be exploded as well. So we're going to start with the truck. You know what? We don't even need to uh, move out of our um, exquisite position. Hell yeah, let's go for it. There we go, two down, 14 to go. Thank you, remote start. Thank you. They now start to be alerted, meaning they are moving faster and a little bit further. They also got a larger, a slightly bit larger um, radius to spot out enemies. I'll just wait for now because A, remote start is on cooldown, B, I do not think that I can explode this pack of crates here. This here is explodable though. And you know what they say, if it can be exploded it must be exploded. They are actually moving up to this item, we could get them. Okay, maybe they are moving towards a car. I will go. Moving up. And moving up. Okay, unfortunately no car has been parked here, so that's the next car. Maybe they are going to that truck. Maybe they're switching their direction. Just want to make sure we're not losing our concealment with the Reaper for now. We can see the ground shaking, which is a sign of a sectopod being here. Moving into a high ground position, covering the ladder at the ledge. And now our hope is uh, that they will just go close to the truck. Which of course does not materialize, but there are plenty of other um, areas where they might run into something that we can remote start. Yeah, get a little bit closer there, guys. This is, by the way, a nice trap. They're standing in the open, making you believe that all you need to do is just hit them. Tell me. Uh, we're going to block their entryway up here. Not gonna happen. You gotta move close to a remote startable object. Yep, that is close to a remote startable object, but that is not exactly next to a remote startable object. Nope, just barely out of range. The point that I'm trying to make is there is so little room for error in this run that I'm forced to take these extreme tactics to even make it happen. If 
if we were just to engage them and lose concealment now, we would have to deal with the Chosen right away. That means tracking shots every single uh, time. I am assuming the Chosen is here. For all, I, for all intents and purposes, uh, it's very likely that he's uh, going to be here. So we would have to deal with that right away. I would really like to use um, concealment to our advantage once we actually um, are engaging with a hard pack. Oh, so close. Yet so far. Although, we have that massive explosion, which could be a thing. Moving out. Moving up. Let's see. Oh, that's hitting both of them. You know what? Why not? I don't think that we're going to have many more uh, packs down here. It just explodes everything. It's kind of the thermonuclear uh, way of dealing with it. Just level the ground completely, I suppose. Could I have waited until they were at a different uh, remote startable object? Yes, but maybe they would have uh, that would have only meant that oh, shit. maybe <laughs> okay that was a big explosion not gonna lie pretty satisfying uh, satisfactory i will reposition what i was about to say it could have meant that we um, would have seen them kind of standing right here at the edge of the uh, remote startable object uh, radius and what you don't want to do is just activate one of them or explode one of them because it will activate the other one. Um, yes, that person or that other uh, one is going to run towards another pack and that's all fine and good. You're getting a free tracking. However, uh, that person or, uh, or that advent already counts as activated and that means it does not follow the um, uh, rules of um, being activated out of turn so let's say you're running into them or they are running into you when it's not your turn then they would uh, get a free action just because they were already activated it's the same deal as with the loss where yes advent fights them and yes that's great but it also means that once they're activated, yeah, you're in a little bit of a tough spot. This here's remote startable. Oh, perfect. Hell yeah. Nope. So good. So we got two, four. That's not a kill for the mech, by the way. Oh, well, it is. I was wrong. The 12 points of damage were just barely enough. I was thinking with three armor, they might survive it. Anyway, six down, 10 to go. We're doing quite well so far. Thanks to the absolute bonkers ability remote start. I approve. Very good ability if you know how to use it or abuse it. Folks says I am to obey. Good, moving up. I'm reloading. There's another remote startable object, and you guys can take a wild guess at what I'm going to do with it. Starting to move up, by the way. It's not urgent, but you know, it's not going to be a pack around back here. We'll do. On it. Dashing. Tight formation, everyone's still in concealment. So good. Six down, ten to go. Let's try to get some more. 
I absolutely love the idea of eliminating the majority of them with remote start. I am trusting you. The aliens used this to defeat most of Earth's heavy conventional forces. It can punch through armor just as easily as it chews through infantry. Be careful. All right. Maybe we've just found the sector pod. Is it the sector pod? It is the sector pod. And I was right, six armor it is. Well, well, well. What do we have here? The problem with a sector pod, by the way, is it does not follow the logic of conventional alien forces. What I mean with that is it will very much run around and we'll use do. its static field to uh, spot you out and put you into a really, really tough position. Running. Also, don't even think about using your sniper uh, to Beat. sort of hit it from afar. Yes, um, it will do a very, very small dent in the armor. Nothing noticeable though. Completely neglectable and it will start to move uh, towards our soldiers. This here, however, might be a bit better. I mean, 12 points of damage is nothing to sneeze at. Just double checking. Yep, that would hit. Moving Getting a tiny bit closer to the building. Let's start with a remote start. Yes, it activates the, uh, the sector pod. That is true. But it also shreds it for one. It's down to five armor. to see where the intruder is at. Typical erratic, uh, erratic uh, sector pod behavior. Still way too much armor for my taste. Maybe those guys could bond up for a bit. Sectorport, by the way, also very much known for just running through the building um, with elongated lags and trying to spot you out. So I'm very careful. I, I've been on that rodeo before. I've very much been on that ra uh, rodeo before. Just out of curiosity. I think now could be a decent moment in time to stop using our concealment. We're far away. I don't think that we're necessarily going to remote start something else. Just don't feel like that is very likely. I will go. <laughs> Look at the sector port. Did I mention or didn't I mention that those guys are like bloodhounds? He just went here for no particular reason and there is a good chance that he's going to run uh, through the building. I am pretty sure that they cannot run through this building. I'm not entirely sure so I might find out that that's not the case. Shrapnel uh, for the sector port is definitely something that I'm considering. 
for now. We're in a solid position. Let's just continue Overwatch for now. I was hoping maybe they can class, uh, they can come together a bit closer. Yeah, just stay there, sector port. Just stay there. No, 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 no. It's fine. Yeah, just stay there. We're all good. We're Gucci. Very nice. Very nice. All right, six down, uh, ten to go, including El Sectoportios. Placing explosive. That's another eight points of damage. Pretty solid kill. Viper heavily injured, Sectopod read it uh, to substantial degree. Uh, still not fully read it. It's a bit the problem here. It is activated though, so let's just overwatch for now. And there are the elongated legs, good old lightning field. Fortunately not killing a effing viper. If we had blue screen rounds, I would not be concerned at all. Let's reload. We still got Sting. I'm somewhat willing to use that. Getting rid of the Viper. Question of the day is: Shall we continue harassing the sector port? Uh, there is a zero percent chance that we're um, that we're actually going to kill it, but uh, we can deal two to four points of damage, and he has a shit ton of hit points. But what else are we going to do? Uh, quite, quite frankly speaking, it's our job now to start more and more chipping it down yep that's two points of damage moving over to here mike bravo who right. finally got his shredder moves over here just don't want to be in half cover when the sector pod comes, when the sector pod comes, you never want to be in half cover. You never go half, uh, full Covering half cover, man. There we go. Full cover all around. And guess what? Did I or didn't I mention that we're going to deal with the? Uh, lost on top of it okay perfect well he's at least as problematic as uh, the uh, sector pod immune to explosions got a nice little uh, kinetic plating no profile um, so uh, difficult to hit uh, will get hit points whenever you miss easy to target from high ground though so if we can somewhat get him there that would be great and we don't have a templar so it's looking like your last. Gotta get rid of his armor, for sure. Luckily for us, no one should be able to see the us at this very moment. Easy for us. Keep your heads down and press forward. We need to get to their location to take them out. And what did I mention about... 
about the sectopod uh, becoming uh, the bloodhound. Oh, hell yeah. The sectopod is pissed. No, not yet. But I must admit that the sectopod is indeed a threatening foe. I need to use incredibly lame tactics to just get it down. Mainly because if we wouldn't, it would probably backfire quite a bit though. So, Blood Trail. And we got some soul harvest going. This is not going to reveal us. We can reload though, just to keep the magazine full. And we need to use our sting. Currently, the sectopod doesn't know that we're here. And I like to keep it that way. So, never use a cooldown if you do not have to. Let's say the sector pod would come closer to us. That'll be a different story. Yeah, now the sector pod is running through the building in the hopes of finding us. He did that with me in a previous run. And I was so mad that I got spotted out. Never ever uh, am I going to use the rooftop as cover again with a reaper. Not even close. I'm on it. I feel reapers are always vigilant. All right, we got to reload. I see. I might take a bit. The problem is, what's the alternative? Realistically speaking, what's the alternative? If this thing starts to march into our direction, there's just not much we can uh, do. Yes, we would get it down, we would certainly shred it, um, and we would lose the Mimic Beacon. But if I can prevent all of that from happening, if if I can... Just continue staying here, and all it takes is a bit more patience then I'm willing to invest that time. Unfortunately, no further remote startable object here, which is really sad. And the sector pod absolutely makes sure that there is no armor around, uh, no cover around whatsoever. You know what? We're going to speed it up a little bit, just for viewing pleasures. I'll do that repetitive cycle over and over, and once we're done, I'll let you know. Okay, we're back after 10 minutes of interaction with the sector port. We now got it down to just a few hit points. Let us finish the job. There we go. Okay, one of the biggest threats just got eliminated. Using a little bit lame tactics. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. As you order, Commander. So what are we dealing with? All right, gotcha, gotcha. Well, don't want to do any rashed uh, movements here.
I think, I'm not sure, I think there are no remote startable objects within the building. Luckily for us, the Chosen just has no agency whatsoever here. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so let's think about that for a second. Alright, moving over here and moving over there. So, so we'll watch. I'm still trying to eliminate them maybe with a remote start. I'm not sure about the interior here, never remote started that. Usually at the time when I was at this uh, mission the mission was relatively easy. I am at your service. Good. Luckily for us, the sector pod has left open a couple of a um, couple of entrances. No remote startable object inside. We're continuing to be on Overwatch. If they are going to start being in a more open position up here, we can effectively start sniping them as well. Opening the door. And let's move a tiny bit back. I'm just waiting for them to get into the open. This might trigger the long watch. Yep. It is. Nice hit. Very well done, Zirkin. You must be fucking kidding me. So you are saying, although no one has line of sight, no one, you're still going to track me? Is that it? Wow. That's a bit petty. Problem with the Advent Priest is it gets, uh, it has sustenance. So I'm using Sting here. I've waited for this moment. Good. It worked out. It could have also just as likely not worked out. We're now in the good old tracking shot problem which is we won't be able to do anything as long as he has us in the tracking shot mark crazy it is absolutely crazy to see that they know where we are And also crazy to see that we're missing a couple of shots. That 
That's very unfortunate. Moving over into our little safe spot here. And everyone else is on Overwatch, just in case he starts to do a marathon uh, sprint. Okay, they don't know where we are. Uh, he just happened to run outside. Alright, trooper. Let's go. That was pretty damn good. Two, four, five. I think that's not enough for us to finish him with 100%. Nope. And the 50% crit might be misleading, so we're just going to wait. They eventually will get closer and closer. And there's a the tracking shot. I'm looking for you. There's an art to what I do. No, there is definitely no art to what you're doing. On it. Absolutely 100% confirmed that there is no art to what you're doing. Nice little hit, Sirkin. Good job. Damage. We might be able to extinguish both of them at the same time. This here will be a kill and might be an explosion. Just a kill. Overwatch. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Alright. We gotta act now. So we killed six, then the sector port, that's seven. This is a pack of three, so that's ten, uh, meaning we got five more to go. I see you. Five I more to go. So this here will be a 100% kill, because we can deal one damage at least. Well, never mind. We just dealt five. Hey, why don't you pick on someone your own size? Oh, we're doing that, buddy. Don't worry. We're going to come for you. Just a matter of time. Good. So, as we have established six down, then the sector put down, that's seven, this pack down ten. Five to go plus the chosen. You really think you can hide from me? Did I miss something? So we killed two, right? Yeah. Killed another Two over here, another two over here, that's six. Then the sector pod seven. Uh, oh yeah, Viper, uh, Viper and um, her friend. That is nine. Then the pack of three, that's actually 12. So we have three more to go, plus the chosen.